Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing change of subject formula. But we'll focus our attention on formula involving roots and power. We've been able to, in our previous videos, we've been able to treat change of subject formula the underlying principle. We've been able to treat change of subject formula formula with bracket and fraction. We've been able to treat change of subject formula formula that needs factorization. So in this video, we'll be treating change of subject formula, formula involving roots and power. Formula involving roots and power. There are some formula that has roots and some that has power. But don't forget, we say a formula is a mathematical equation containing two or more letters. So you can have a formula or a mathematical equation that involves root and power. So in this video, we are going to see how we can maneuver our way correctly to get our subject formula out. And don't forget, we say subject formula means making your subject formula to stand alone. Kindly check our previous video on this topic. Thank you. So let's dive straight into solving the question. We have some questions here. For question number one, we have to make R the subject of this formula. For question number two, we have to make X. And for question number three, we have to make X. So let's dive straight into it. Let's say solution number one. Solution one. This is the question. Awesome. We have to make R the subject of the formula and this, this R is raised to power 3, R cube. So let's see how we can iron that out. Let's get the template and see. Awesome. So, here we have our v on our left hand side equal now this 4 over 3 power r cube is still the same thing if you say if you have our if you have it this way it is still the same so what we have here is still the same thing as what we have here it's just to make our job easier now the next thing for us is to see how we can make it linear we can cross multiply so let's cross multiply i have explained before what cross multiplication simply means so let's cross multiply awesome so Cross multiplication means you are multiplying what we have at the numerator here with what we have at the denominator here. And what we have at the numerator here with what we have at the denominator here. So this V is still the same thing as V over 1. It's a V symbol. So let's see how we can cross multiply. Multiplication this V will multiply this V. This one will multiply what we have down here. Awesome. So we are actually more cross multiplying. Let's have this. Awesome. Four power cube is multiplying one to still give you four power cube. So v times three will give you three v. Awesome. So we've done the cross multiplication. But our aim is to make r stand alone. To make r the subject of the formula. So what is disturbing r? First of all, is this four pi. Let's iron that out first. So we are going to divide both sides by 4 pi. So 
let's divide both sides. Let's divide both sides. Five, four, five. Let's get the same thing. Awesome. So that we can have on both sides. We have this. We are dividing by four pi. We have our equality sign, and on this side we have three G. We are dividing by four pi. Awesome. Now, having done that, because we actually want to make our R the subject of the formula, so that our four pi can cancel out four pi. We want to see how we can make our R to stand. Alone. We now have R cube equals three B over four pi. Now we have to make R the subject of the formula, but we are still having this cube here. Now how are we going to remove this? It's very simple. It's just for us. And don't forget why eliminating what is disturbing your subject formula. As you are doing it to the to that side, you do it to the other side too. This is R cube. What we need to do is to cube root both sides so that the cube root can cancel this cube. That's what we are going to do. So we are going to cube root both sides. We are going to cube root both sides. Awesome. So let's get the template that will help us. We need to cube root both sides. Let's see what we can do. Awesome. I think this should help us. Let's cube root both sides. Awesome. Cube root both sides, and on this other end, this is what we have here. Okay, let's do that again. We have three B over four pi. Awesome. So we cube root here, the left hand side, we cube root the right hand side. Why are we doing that? So that our R can stand alone because it's cube that is actually here. If it is square, we we'll square root both sides. So that this cube root can cancel out this cube in order for our R to stand alone. Let's try and see what we can do for our R to stand alone. Okay, let's get this as a template. Under for our R to stand alone. Then we we'll have this. Awesome. So now that our R is standing alone, it equals the cube root of 3v over 4 pi. So that's our answer. Our aim is for our R to stand alone. So let's dive straight into question number 2. We have to make x. The subject of this relation. Our aim is our subject formula to stand alone. 
let's walk hmm? awesome now we have to make x the subject of the formula now first thing first what is disturbing our x this is minus y squared and this squared so let's transfer it out first So, if you are transferring this minus y square out across this equality sign, don't forget our explanation. Once a letter or a variable is crossing the equality sign, the sign will change. So, we have our minus y square here. If it comes here, it will change to plus. It will change to what? Plus. Awesome. That means the y squared that is here has gone. So we are now left with what? x squared equals a squared plus y squared. Our x is yet to stand alone. Don't forget, we want to make x the subject of our formula when we still have a square here. Like what we did here. To eliminate this cube, we have to cube root both sides. We are going to apply the same thing here. For us to eliminate this square, we are going to square root both sides. We are going to square root both sides. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to square root both sides. Awesome. So let's get the template. Just like the same thing we did. But don't forget, for square root, there is invisible 2 here. That's why you don't always see it there. But if it is square root, there will be you write the 3. If it is 4 root, you write the 4. But for square root, there is an invisible 2 here. So, we have our s square, we square here, then we have who we have on the right hand side. We have it here. So that our square can cancel out our square root. We end up our x to stand alone. Another power x to stand alone. Awesome. So we are left with this. That's our answer because our x is now standing. So let's go straight to question number three, which is the last question for this video. So let's just read it. Question is square root of x plus one equals e. We have to make x the subject of the formula. What are we going to do? First thing first, 
this one will transfer it out because it's one of those that is disturbing our X. Let's bring it out. If we bring this one across this equality sign, the sign will change to minus one. It's our X standing alone, not yet. We have a square root that is disturbing. On the contrary, you know, now we have a square that is disturbing with the square root both sides. Now that we have square root that is disturbing, we are going to square both sides. This time I am not square root both sides. That's the reverse. Here we have a square that is disturbing. For us to eliminate this square, we square root both sides. But here we have a square root that is disturbing. For us to eliminate this square root, square root side. I see that it is very interesting just to make our x the subject of the formula. Let's try and see how we can square both sides. Let's get the template. We want to square both sides. Okay. We want to square both sides. side a minus one awesome so we are square here and we square here the reason is for us to ensure our x standing so that this square can cancel out this square root that our x can stand alone Our x is now standing alone. That means we've been able to establish the fact that there are some formula that involves roots and power. How we can maneuver our way around it. You can always pause and rewind this video for better clarification and understanding. You can drop a comment with us if you have any issue. Then kindly help like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel, My Simple Math. And you can help us to press the notification bell so that you can always receive notification from us whenever we post a new video. Thank you.